What's up my dudes, Valkyr, and today I'm going to be showcasing off Hu Tao with her banner right around the corner from the point of me posting this video. I figure it's a good time to just show off just how good this unit can be. Keep in mind, my Hu Tao is not crazy by any means. My Hu Tao is just okay. She's at 81.4 crit rate, 218 crit damage. I have her on deathmatch because to me deathmatch is easily attainable. I normally, I just got this today, so I have been running with Primordial Jade Wing Spear. But as you can see, there's virtually zero difference. Uh, just the fact with Deathmatch is that it doesn't really matter because you want the HP to attack conversion anyways. So her, the only thing that really matters out of her weapon is the base attack. If it's not Homa, it generally does not matter outside of the substats and the passive move. Other than that, like, other than that, if it's not Homa, it really does not matter what you're running. But Homa is obviously your best in slot weapon. Um, I have her level 9 all the way down. Like I said, HP to attack conversion, very important. I have her two-piece Nasty, two-piece Millith. I have her on some pretty good pieces. Uh, nothing super fantastic, nothing spectacular, but, you know, good enough to suffice, good enough to make a little showcase. I have a team specifically made to look her as good as possible if you guys are debating summoning. If you guys don't have uh, Hu Tao, she's a very good get. She's a very solid unit. She doesn't take a whole lot of brain power to play because she genuinely just does her own thing because she's tanky as well as dealing a ton of damage at the exact same time. So you can just see the damage she does. This is basically, like I said, it's almost a free-to-play Hu Tao, right? Because it's just deathmatch. I, I, I do that. Don't worry about that. Keep in mind, I'm a little rusty. Uh, but that's, that's kind of how Hu Tao is, right? Like, this is a team, like I said, meant to make her look pretty good. We have the loot here just for the pyro. And then we come down, then we come here, and now we go back to it. You can see 55k charge attacks. We ran out of charge attacks, and now we just smash normals. But you can see, she's got 55k vapes. She's a very solid unit. She's really, really good. She's going to help you a lot with it, just about anything. I think she's a good get. Uh, as far as team goes, Toma is going to be really good with her. Sing Cho is almost a must to run with her. You really want VV. VV is a really good damage booster for anybody that can use it. You have Zhongli. You want to have, basically, because she's Pyro, you want to have a way to either proc Melt or Vape. One of the two. Or you want to uh, go ahead, and you also want to go ahead and have Viridus and Viridus proc. Like I said, Zhongli is also always a good option if you don't need the Pyro Resonance. She has access to a lot of stuff. She's Pyro. She has access to Elemental Reactions. She's very, very strong for you. And keep in mind, what I did with the ult, don't do that. Make sure you're using your ult inside the skill. It's been a long time since I used Hu Tao. I'm kind of rusty on it. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching, as always. Hopefully this helps some of you guys with your decision-making whether or not you're summoning for Hu Tao. I think she's a fantastic unit. I think she's a good get. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.